This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 614 of Horse Tip Daily. A different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's tip is brought to you by Eco Gold saddle pads and protective boots for your equine athlete. Greetings, horse people. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily. Today's tip is about your horse's immune system. It is an excerpt from the Horses in the Morning show, episode number 357, featuring Dr. Gordon Chang. But before we get to today's tip, let's hear what Karen O'Connor has to say about today's sponsor, Eco Gold. Uh, I met Patricia, gosh, I think it was probably three years ago, three or four years ago, when, and, and the thing that separates Eco Gold from any other saddle pad company in the world that I'm aware of is that they are experts in textiles and they understand fabrics and they understand what breathes on a horse and what what holds the sweat in what doesn't hold the sweat in and so for that reason uh, they are ahead of the game and then they have an incredible uh, support system around them where they respect their their sponsored riders and ask for our input on the shapes of the of the product uh, the shape of the pads and, and all the other products that EcoGold makes. Uh, and so it's a win-win because you feel like with EcoGold, the, the company and the sponsored riders are all growing together and, and we're all helping each other uh, to make the very best product that there is out there. And while they are also, uh, they are still continuing to be state-of-the-art on new textiles, new fabrics and new products and new um, materials that make their their product stand out way ahead of anything else out there and there you have it straight from karen o'connor multiple gold bronze and silver medalist for the united states eventing team she should know now enjoy today's tip um (laughs) well we're going to welcome dr chang to the show good morning dr chang from omega alpha good morning jamie good morning glenn how are you well, we're doing fantastic. Glenn's got his head on the desk right now. He's a little bit sick. He needs some Omega Alpha Pharmaceuticals. What do you now, recommend? Are, are we sure that it's <laughs> illness, or is it from a, a night of too much partying? I, it could be that. Um, he's not really telling. And his wife would never <laughs> sells him down the river, so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know, the nice thing about the radio is that you can get away with a lot of things. People can't see you. You know? That's true, Dr. Chang. That's why we do radio. That's why we do radio. Plus, nobody wants to see us this early in the morning. That's the That's other right. But, but Dr. Anyway. Chang, I, I'm currently in my bathrobe right now. So oh, okay. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, this is a great segue into what I wanted to talk about today, was a little bit about the immune system. Uh, and hearing that Glenn, is, Glenn was sick and picked up a cold or something like that from doing God knows what, right? It's a great segue as, as <laughs> into the immune system. I thought you were on my system. side, Dr. Chang. <laughs> I'm always on your side, Glenn. I got your back. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Back. Just checking. Uh, no, the, I, I was just going to say the, the immune system, I mean, not too many people think of the immune system until after they've got a cold, right? And especially, I'm, I'm thinking especially for the horses, nobody thinks about it until there's a virus that's running through the barns and, and their horse, uh, the ones that, that get it. Or sometimes they, they travel around with their horse to different shows and, you know, they, they put them in, in a stall um, in a barn with, um, with a horse that has a cold or something like that and voila, your horse gets it. And that's the last time you need it uh, at the during a, a competition, that's that's a that's when you don't want to have a cold, right? And you know, I always say this: a horse that is healthy, a mediocre horse that is healthy, will outperform a fantastic horse that is ill on any given day, right? That's just because if you're ill, you can't run, you can't mm-hmm. jump, you can't do anything, right? And Glenn Glenn knows that from from experience right now, right? Mm-hmm. And 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 one of the things I, I, I you know I try to preach is prevention. Uh, prevention is a very difficult subject to sell, uh, and a major reason for that is they say, well, 
I'm, I'm not sick. My horse is not sick right now. You know, if I take this um, immunity boosting product, will it make keep my horse healthy? You know, it, unfortunately, there's no 100% guarantees. The nice thing about boosting the immune system is that it'll keep your horse healthy against um, a lot of different illnesses. It'll take much more viruses, much different types of bacterial viruses to make your horse sick, right? But it doesn't mean your horse will never, ever, ever get sick, right? Right. Uh, well, if, if that was the case and you had that magic pill, you'd be a bazillionaire. I mean... It does. <laughs> if you can guarantee it, you'd be a bazillionaire. That, that's, exactly. a, that's, the unfor that's the unfortunate um, thing here. You can't guarantee it, but it's a way of... I, I call it stacking the cards, Right, you you you're basically stacking the cards in your in your favor when you when you take an immune boosting product to try and basically boost the immune system and keep the immune system boosted, especially during competition time. Right, when when it's not competition, you know usually it's not not a big deal. Your horse gets sick, okay, he gets sick. Right, it's not the end of the world. He'll recover, but if if on the day of competition, the last thing you want is your horse to get sick. And I'm sure there are lots of um, cases out there where where this has happened because of the stress of travel, etc., uh, and th that will uh, make your horse more susceptible to any viruses or bacteria floating around, or, or so on. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and the, the thing is, you you if you take any of these immune system boosting products after your horse is ill, they don't work as well. And the ration, the reason is as follows. And I'll use just numbers off the top of my head. No, don't quote me on these numbers. Let's say your horse um, is on on a, a product that boosts the immune system, like or the Omega Alpha Immune Plus. Okay. What happens is that because the immune system is boosted, you have more white cells floating around. You have white cells floating around that have higher activity levels. So what that means is that as soon as you have one bad bacteria or one bad virus floating around in the blood, all of a sudden the immune system recognizes and, and chomps it off before it gets a chance to multiply, okay? Now, mm -hmm. when you're already sick, here's what happens. Instead of one virus floating around the blood, you may have 100,000 viruses floating around the blood, right? So all of a sudden, if you try to boost the immune system at that point, it takes time to boost the immune system to get it up to speed, okay? And during that time, your 100,000 viruses goes to, 100, to 1 million to 100 million viruses. Then all of a sudden, even with a boosted immune system, you think about it, we get more soldiers in the field, but you have a lot more enemies to kill. And because you have a lot more enemies to kill, the soldiers that you have may not be enough. So if you don't have enough soldiers, that's why it's not as effective. However, I mean, it's not to say that you, you shouldn't ever take an immune system boosting product even when you're sick, what it'll do is that it'll boost the immune system to the point where it'll start fighting off the bacteria, fighting off the viruses, so it may shorten the, the, um, the, the incidence or the, sh the length of time that your, the animal is sick, your horse is sick, right? Mm -hmm. But in this case, this is definitely the case where prevention is key. You know, take it on a regular basis. It's, I call it added insurance. I... I think I've never had it explained quite like that, and it makes so much more sense now to think about, you know, soldiers in the field and the bad guys that are coming in and trying to take over. So when you say to give the immune booster, do we give it to every horse? Do we want to keep it in a kind of horse that, like I have one horse here that's kind of more on the sickly side. He seems to be affected by everything that comes and goes. Is this something he should have, and is it something that, say, a more sickly horse should have? Should he have it all the time, or would it lose effectiveness? Okay. Uh, for a horse that is, uh, what you do if you think it's going to lose effectiveness, you cycle it. What you do, you run, you take it, you give it to the horse for about three weeks, and you stop for a week, and you and you do it again the next cycle, okay? Now, you asked me if you should give it to every single horse known to man. The question, it, it all boils down to what is this horse doing? If this horse is a competition horse that you, that you need to keep in tip-top shape, during competition season, I would say yes. When it's not competition season, you can let him tool around in the backyard, in the fields, etc., and enjoy being a horse. He is probably going to be just fine if you, even if he gets a virus, 
it's not the end of the world because it's not competition season. You, you know what I mean? Now, another thing you, you ask is that you, the not, I mean, boosting the immune system is one thing, but if you ever notice if you give a horse a, a good dose of antibiotics, that, that horse, and, and if that horse has been on antibiotics for a long time, what happens is that horse seems to be more susceptible to anything floating around. The, the reason for that, again, we, we come back to my good friend's probiotics, right? What, what happens with, with a horse that has a good dose of antibiotics? All of a sudden, he has no more, no more good bacteria in the gut. Or I shouldn't say he doesn't have any more. He, his, his, his bacterial flora has changed so that chances that he might have more bad bacteria floating in the gut. And one of the things that, 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 that um, good bacteria do, it competes with bad bacteria for space. And if you, after a good dose of antibiotics, what happens is that you don't have the bacteria floating around. So any of the bad bacteria floating around, it just gets instant access to the gut, and all of a sudden it produces waste products, which makes your, it stresses out your horse's um, system even more. So it makes it much more susceptible to any other viruses floating around. Right, so that's, that's why it's a good reason to, to go on a probiotic um, product on a regular basis also. Something similar so, to our, 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 bio, our Biotic 8 product. Interesting. So, so uh, thinking of all this, a, a good question is, does it test? Is it something that if I go to a horse show and I'm, you know, there's going to be off the charts of moon boosters in, in my horse's bloodstream or what? No, because the, the, what, what they're testing for is particular compounds. And none of the compounds in any of these herbs are testable meaning that nobody's looking for them. Uh, and to be fair, if, I, if, we, if enough people are using it and the powers that be at the FBI or wherever they are say, oh, everybody's using this stuff, we'll start testing for it, then they'll develop a test for it, right? But as it stands, a lot of these herbal products, there is no test for it unless they're testing for a particular compound. And some compounds that people test for, would, which is a natural compound, Caffeine is a classic example I always use, right? There's a herb out there called guarana. Guarana, if you didn't know about anything about guarana, guarana has one of its major ingredients is caffeine. So if you give your horse a lot of guarana, I guarantee you, you'll get a positive test for caffeine, right? But the, uh, the, we here at Omega Alpha, we know to avoid any of those type of products, any of those type of herbs. Okay, so... Um, where does that leave us? And what do you think that the the, the a good program is? Well, I would suggest it to most to everybody. If your horse is in competition, I mean, always give them a good um, uh, vitamin mineral product. Um, by that I mean, when I say good, make sure that they have enough vitamins that are in horse dose, like B vitamins, calcium, magnesium, trace minerals, like zinc. Selenium, selenium, etc., and those are basically to, to help keep the your horse's um, system up, and then also take a, an immune booster on a regular basis just to keep that immune system up. Because the last thing you want, as I said, is at the day of the, the competition, because of the, the stresses of trucking and so on, that you have you you have a horse that 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 falls ill. All right. So the, I guess my take-home message at this is that. Um, prevention is better than cure in a case like this. And right. whilst we can't guarantee 100% that you'll never get sick, uh, if you boost the immune system, chances of the animal getting ill is a lot lower. And, and more importantly, the, the animal then, um, even if it does get introduced to a virus, chances of the virus overwhelming the animal is, is a lot lower just because um, the soldiers, which are the white blood cells, right, are in much higher quantity, and it acts as it, it acts as a, a vigilant system to keep to keep the the um, viruses and so on at bay. Well, and and that really makes sense because I do, I do that for myself. I don't know why I've never thought to do it for my horses. But like yesterday, long story, but I ended up having to babysit three children, and the second. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my friend got this. What? Wait a minute. Yeah, I, I know. That's a I know. story that we have to hear about. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but uh, the second I got home, Dr. Chang, 
I went right to my little cabinet of medicine and got out the zinc, the vitamin C, the golden seal, the echinacea, every product that I have. I was like, I've been around kids. Yeah. I need to take the meds. <laughs> w- your- walking gym machines, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. I was like, give me the meds. I don't know. So, so uh, you know, an ounce of prevention I was hoping would be the, the best thing. And, and kind of the same thing with horses. When they're going to competition, they're stra- uh, traveling, their immune system is lessened, and they're going to be around a whole bunch of other, other horses that are stressed as well. It mm-hmm. definitely makes sense. And then that- the probiotics come in, into play as well. So it, it's right. interesting. Yeah, but uh, but it's one of those things that people don't think about too much, uh, just, and until it happens of the day of competition, their horse is ill, for whatever reason. It picked up something that was floating around. Who knows? You know, you never right. know until it happens, uh, and by then sometimes it's really too late. Right. You know, but in general, you know, boosting the immune system is not going to hurt your horse. The only time I would say boosting the immune system is probably going to be an issue if you have a horse that has any type of autoimmune disease, right? And autoimmune disease, because most boosting of the immune system, what it does is it's a non-specific boosting of the immune system. By that, I mean it boosts all parts of the immune system. It boosts the production of antibodies. It produces, it produces the... Um, it increases the production of, of white blood cells. It increases the activity of white blood cells, etc. When you have an autoimmune disease, um, system disease, what happens is that you have the immune system targeting the tissues of the bo- uh, uh, of its own uh, of its own host. Meaning that if you have a horse that has autoimmune disease, the, the immune system is producing um, antibodies, etc. That's attacking the the horse itself. So in a case like that, if you boost the immune system, that's not a good thing. All right? But for your regular Joe horse going to competitions that's in fairly decent condition, etc., boosting the immune system is a good thing. Even if for your horses that are run down and so on, boosting the immune system is even better. Gotcha. Gotcha. So what are the products that we can find from Omega Alpha? And uh, obviously, you can go to omegaalpha.ca to check these out. And uh, it's just the best explanation for all of them because I know you guys are limited legally with what you can write on your website. So that's why these are. I think this is so important for yeah. listeners to hear about and hear the explanations. So uh, what are the products that they can go find? Well, um, we, we, if you go to our website, there's a product we call, which is called Immune Plus. Right, mm-hmm. equine immune plus, and that is a product that directly boosts the immune system. Okay, but you know, as I said, the immune system is vast and complicated. There are other things that that will help boost the immune system too. Things like probiotics will also help. Right, is uh, you know, but it, it works by targeting a different methodology of it. But the immune plus is the one I would recommend on a regular, ongoing basis, just as a preventative, just to keep your horse healthy during competition season. Okay, right. gotcha. And w- one other thing I, I wanted to mention to, to your listeners, if you go on our website, we have posted a lot of seminars that we do by teleconference. And we have something now called Coach's Corner, which we talk about, uh, not sp- product-specific things, but talk about things in general, right, where we tie it in to performance of, of, of the equine athlete and so on. So it's themed and so on. It happens once a month. Uh, I can't remember the dates off the top of my head, but it's listed on our website. And th- all you need to do is um, click on it, and it'll tell you the dates. And then uh, it's a live um, teleconference that people can join at uh, if they want. Great. And that is at omegaalpha.ca. Uh, Dr. Chang, as always, Thank you so much for joining us and, and, and making this stuff, you know, understandable. <laughs> so, well, really thanks, for the ch- thanks for the opportunity. And, Glenn, look after that cold. I assume it's All a right, cold that you have. Okay. I assume it's a yeah. cold and not, uh, not too much imbi- imbibing from last night. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was, Dr. Chang. That would have been much more fun. Uh, as you said, if you, did the time, if you did the crime, you don't mind doing the time, right? <laughs> That's right, that's right. But uh, when it's just a cold, then it just stinks. Yeah. So, <laughs> thank you, Dr. Immune Shane. plus. Immune, Immune plus. plus. Glenn, right. go look it up. <laughs> T- take care now. Right. Bye-bye. Bye. Right, bye, Dr. Well, there you go. To listen to those webinars that Dr. Chang mentioned, go to omegaalpha.ca. 
If you love listening to Glenn and Jamie put in their two cents about horse health topics and everything else, you can tune into the Horses in the Morning show at horsesinthemorning.com. Don't forget, support our sponsors here on Horse Tip Daily because they make these possible and they make awesome saddle pads. Today's sponsor has been Eco Gold. You can ask for Eco Gold saddle pads and protective boots at your local tax store by name or to learn more, visit them at ecogold.ca. Awesome saddle pads. You heard it straight from Karen O'Connor. Please stop by the Horse Tip Daily Facebook page and let us know what you think of the tips you hear on the show. It's also a great place to tell us about topics you'd like to hear us cover on the show. You can subscribe to all the great shows on the Horse Radio Network through iTunes or Zune and get your horse podcasts automatically downloaded to your iPod, Zune, or MP3 player. You can also listen to the shows right on Facebook. The player's right there every day. I'll be back again tomorrow with another new expert and a different horse tip. Until then, go ride your horse! The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily. (laughs) 